Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to show you how to make a real simple plate layout, uh, just three lines. I'm going to go to my plate size, and I know I want the width to be five inches and my height to be three, and I click on OK. So here I've got my three by five. I want three lines of text. I'm going to show you three different ways of doing it. The first one, I'm going to come out to the second, which is Text Compose. I could have also hit Control F7. So I'm going to just click here, and I'm going to say I want half inch letters, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to call it my script double line. And uh, this you type in a little funny, but uh, it should be fine. Let me also go to my characters because on this I want it to slant 15. So I'm going to type in this. I've actually got to type an equal sign. This equal equal and then number. Oops, number and then number one backspace number one and then just hit enter for your second line. Equal C O N D and T equal H I R D and then in the middle of the line if I want to change it I can come down here and change it to Optima 3 line just double click and I'm going to just put in a series of threes just so you know how it looks and then I'm going to just hit escape or click away actually hit F F7 to zoom out and here's my here's my three lines of text that that are all connected and of course I could shrink shrink this down by grabbing one of the handles or I could only have shrunk this line or I can come over here and say well maybe I can make this a fourth line oops F8 get my pointer tool double click on my baseline go right here and make it four lines and then I, of course I could expand this to whatever I needed so here's one, that's one way, and I can hit Alt, Home, and End, and no, don't break them apart. Alt, Home, and End. Again, that silly question. Alt, End, no. So there it is, all centered. So and if, obviously, if I wanted just three lines, I can just backspace through this, and there is my three-line plate. So now let's uh, show you another way of doing it. Let me just delete out of that. And this time I'm going to click on paragraph text. They call it frame text compose. I use the word paragraph text because that's what CorelDRAW uses. And now this is what I've got as my frame. And I'm going to make my lettering just a little bit smaller, 0.75. And I'm going to get rid of my I'm still in my character mode, so I'm going to just make that zero. And I'm going to go to my frame properties. And I'm going to make my top margin 0.25 and my left margin 0.25 and the right margin 0.25. So here's what I'm left with. So I'm going to type in line number one. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change the font to Old English. And type in line number two and then I'm going to come in for my third line and I'm going to change that to um, I'm going to go down here to the Q&E fonts and I'm going to change it to something like squiggle oops I guess I lost it line three I didn't double click on it where is it let me get down to it again see if there's a problem there <laughs> Sorry for taking your time here. Uh, I'll have to find it again, but I'll use this Victoria 4 line. Double click on it. This will be line number 3. And if I add a bunch of 3's in, you can see that it's compressed to this space. Now, there are um, 
items in paragraph text that will allow all of the lines to shrink the same. Okay, so that's a, a second way of, of doing it. Now, here's another third way of doing it. I haven't used this too much, but if you go over here to this auto layout, and it's asking you to, to open this file here. And I guess that was already a three-line plate. So I'm going to close that, and I'm going to just start a new one. I've never used this, but I'm going to start with line number one. Line number one enter and then line number number two I'm actually typing the text up in this range right here and then enter and then line number and now again I'll put a whole bunch of threes in there just so you can see and click on apply now it's asking me for a font and I'm gonna pick um, Old English and then click select and this is what I end up with. Now the difference is each one of these lines are separated. Now I'm guessing that you could possibly do saving of, of different formats, three line, four line, five line. But of course you could double click on the baseline, swipe through here, and change the font to Squire one line, let's say, if that's what you wanted. And if you wanted to click on this and you want to change this to all caps, you can come over, over here, make it all uppercase. Hope this helps.